Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute and I've been working on a lot of different stuff and I got some pretty cool things that I've been doing recently and I just wanted to catch you up with, do a little short. Uh, basically, I've been working with this guy Mike Leeds from Blastoline and he's doing this wild V8 trike thing and I've been doing some castings and some other stuff and he had this old radiator uh, with a stamped little aluminum plaque on it and he wanted to replicate that plaque with his logo on it. So I kind of did some thinking and I want to do some 3D print stamp dies to replicate the the pc has on there but with his logo so i first started out by basically trying to figure out the design measured it up based on some pictures he sent over which were they were measured with a yardstick so it wasn't the most accurate um, i came up with the first run of dies and i wanted to use something that was readily available so i found these which are little sheets you can buy from like big box stores home depot ace hardware i got these at ace hardware by my house this is um 16 thou aluminum and I also bought some uh, brass and some copper to experiment with as well but we're gonna start with these because the most malleable so what I did is I printed out um, his logo one of a base which is basically the the impressions we want to stand up and then one with a negative which is the impressions that we want to stamp down into it I'm gonna use the shop press for this and we're just basically gonna cut down some pieces to size we're gonna test it out see if the 3d print is strong enough you can see here is my first try with gyroidal and it did not like the force as much. This is 35% um, fill with gyroidal, which is more uh, constant, but not good for downward force. So you can see here, we got a couple pieces out of it, but um, it didn't do too much before it actually exploded. Triangles for this one, I wanted to keep something that was laterally, like just the force is gonna be all down. So I basically chose a non 3D uh, fill because the non fill print was like, two and a half days or something like that. So I, I did a 50% fill with triangles, praying it doesn't explode on the first try. So let's go from here. Just a really light pass. You can see here it's starting to show up. It's not quite there. So we're gonna give it some uh, some other presses probably on this side. We're gonna move it around a little bit and see how it gets from there. scared about the piece moving around because we've already dented it in and it's kind of falling back into shape so we're not going to double press it or anything by moving it around. It's actually denting the steel so I don't know what the pressure that is but it's pretty high. I'm really surprised this 3D print's taking it. All right, well, let's take a look. Oh man, look at that. Oh my God, that looks good. And then the dies, they had a little bit of cracking going on, but they don't seem to wear too much. You can see there's a little bit of like um, shininess around the outside edges here. So it looks like it's polishing and pressing the corners, but everything held really well. So we'll try some brass and then we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, so off camera I actually tried some brass. And ooh wee, it was a little bit harder. But it looks just as good. A little bit more cracking on the dies. They seem to take it pretty well. So I'm going to take these over to Mike. See what he says. And uh, hopefully we can get a shot of it on the radiator if he wants to do that right now. But it might be something I drop off and he sends me later. But yeah, awesome. I can't believe 3D printing actually does such a good job. This is more than I ever expected. And like this is pretty lightweight material. But still, great little technique. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun, huh?